Bi-weekly Q&A time everyone, if you saw the community post yesterday you will know this is one day late because I didn't have time to pre-record it before I went away, so yeah, but we're back anyway, let's get right into these questions, starting off with the member slash Patreon questions, then we're going to move on to the rest of the questions as well from all you guys. Poke Pickle asks, if you could completely make your own two heroes for Battlefront 2, what would they be like? So do we mean like heroes from scratch or characters from the actual universe, because characters from the actual universe would would be Ahsoka Ventress for me, but if I could completely make my own two heroes, I'd be combining abilities together, you know, I'd be combining Anakin's abilities with Palpatine and making like some super Sith Lords, and the idea you suggested underneath as well about maybe comparing concept ideas from you guys, that'd be interesting as well, I'd be down for that. Exploding asks, if you could pick one thing to return from Battlefront 2015, what would it be, and when will you do a Battlefront 2015 throwback stream? It would have to be the Shadow Trooper skin, I just really missed that one, and we'll do one pretty soon actually. Let me know in the comments, would you like to see a Battlefront 2015 stream soon? Tana asks, if you had to assassinate the Queen and you only got the help of one real life person, who would you pick and how would you do it? How many marshmallows can you fit in your mouth at once? And that is a very obscure question, Tana. I would not assassinate the Queen, that is my answer. I won't be assassinating anyone, I'll be the good boy there. How many marshmallows can you fit in your mouth at once? I don't have a clue. JetBlue asks, what is the craziest Star Wars theory you have ever heard? What are you wearing at this current time? Be descriptive. The craziest Star Wars theory I've ever heard is probably the Darth Jar Jar theory. At the time, I was completely just blown away by that. And at this current time, well, I've just got back from a week in London where I've pretty much been out most days and I'm really tired, so right now I'm just kind of wearing a tracksuit. Nothing too formal because I'm really tired and I just want to chill. Lovely Game asks, would you prefer another Heroes Unleashed event or an event where Anakin is where he was first released and the enemy team can spawn as many villains as possible? Do you have any other events in mind that you think would be fun? Um, I'd rather have Heroes Unleashed, Anakin at the start just too much, and any other events in mind? I'd say a Heroes vs Villains with all 10 on each side, so a 10v10, 20 player match really. Tyler asks, I appreciate you calling it bi-weekly Q&A, yep, I told you I would. What is my least favourite and most favourite Clone Wars episode? Uh, my most favourite is probably the Maul Mandalore arc or the Ahsoka leaving arc. I can't really decide between those two. And my least favourite, I love the Clone Wars, don't get me wrong, I love all of it. But some of the Senate episodes where it's basically just Padme and the Senate, uh, like I can't even remember the plot of them. That's how kind of lackluster they are. I'd combine all those ones together and not just to be, uh, you know, against Padme, like anything to do with the Senate, because I really like Padme, but any of the Senate episodes kind of just drag on. Daniil asks, have you tried mostly hair for men? And when will Anakin be balanced? My hair is fine, so no, I haven't tried it. And when will Anakin be balanced? When the devs completely rework him, because right now his abilities are far too OP, no matter how much they get nerfed. And then questions for members on the Discord, not many of these actually, just so everyone on your channel knows, says Yodimus, why do you passionately hate pre-2010 music? And don't just say it's old. Look, I'll combine everything you've said into one. I just don't like anything before 2010 because it's too old for me. I'm sorry if that's your time. I'm sure in you know years to come there'll be people who look back on my time and call it old. Of, of course they will because time passes on. It's just not really my thing, okay? And Spider King with the final member question. If there were rewards for level 100, 200, 300, what would they be? I would unlock the fourth star card in there. That'd be cool. I think maybe alternate loadouts as well, a bit like Battlefront 1 that you could have. But uh, we're looking at, you know, gold Stormtrooper skins, Shadow Trooper skins. Pretty much maybe you could design your own clone trooper. Give yourself your own color lightsaber, Luke running around with a purple lightsaber. Maybe that's a bit too far, but I want to feel some sense of pride and accomplishment for level 1000 especially at the very end of it. Moving on to the questions from everyone, what are your opinions on a Coleman Trayvall standalone movie? Gotta happen, I love Coleman Trayvall. If you could remove one hero slash villain from the game, who would it be? And if you could replace them with another hero slash villain, who would it be? I'd have to get rid of Boss, because I love Boss, but he's not too iconic compared to the characters, and Finn, I'd get rid of those two, and I'd replace them with Ahsoka and Ventress, because they're actual good characters who deserve to be in this game, hopefully this Friday of that huge announcement they get confirmed. Who's my favourite character in LEGO Star Wars? I love all three Force Ghosts. 
you know, from the complete saga because nobody can see you. It's amazing. Seeing as it was the week of languages when you sent this out, what is your favourite language beside English? So for those of you who don't know what Obion's talking about, basically we're doing like different languages for every stream. Um, and my favourite language beside English, you know, I'm only fluent in English, unfortunately. I wish that were different. But, gotta be representing my croissants and say French. <laughs> Very stereotypical, but French. What is the meaning of life? I just want you to go philosophical on us. That is something we can all contemplate on a daily basis, you know. When you actually go down and deep into it, I'm sure we've all been in that situation. What is the meaning of life? You know, I could go deeper into it from my perspective, Grim Reaper, but let's be honest, the average person is here for Battlefront and probably doesn't want to listen. What is your favourite movie franchise except for Star Wars? You know, I don't know the answer to that, but recently, and I mean recently, like in the last week, I've really got into the MCU after just not paying any attention to it my whole life. Definitely need to watch more, but you know, before I say it's my favourite besides Star Wars, but it's definitely up there. Like Infinity War and Endgame were amazing movies. Like, I'd say better than a lot of the Star Wars movies, which I never thought I'd say that. Are you going to play Jedi Fallen Order when it comes out? I don't know. I'm not really too interested. I was so hyped for that game, but they've just gone with the basic human Padawan. You know, it doesn't look very appealing to me. It's all about marketing you know, with anything in life really. It's about how you market it and I wasn't impressed by the trailer, I'm not imp impressed by the protagonist so far. I'm gonna give them more time with uh, more promotional material, you know, EA Play soon. But as of now, they haven't got my money. If you were the director of Battlefront 2, what would you have done with the game? Honestly, always listen to the community. Obviously, there's limits and there's just people who are silly, but always try and listen to that community and I do feel that Yang Dice have done that a lot more but you know if the fans are out there and they're like we don't want these heroes obviously there's always going to be some people who want sequel content or original trilogy content but the vast majority wanted Clone Wars and from day one that should have been the era with the most content to suit the majority so it's always just listen to the fans. How would I rank all the Star Wars movies? Oh this is one I feel I gotta answer. From best to worst episode 3, 2, 1, Six, five, four, Solo, Rogue One, Force Awakens. I'm not going to be awkward and leave The Last Jedi off it. Throw it on the end. But the Clone Wars movie was to go on there. It'd be just before The Last Jedi. I love the Clone Wars, but the movie on its own is, isn't really anything. Series as a whole, better than any of the movies. Do you like Boba Fett now after the May update? No, he needs at least 200 health regeneration, 650 health, and please swap some buttons around so he can zoom with his weapon. I know there's people who say like, oh, it won't work when he's flying. I think it will. Please just give Boba a zoom button if everything. I'm not satisfied with Boba. I, I know I'm just gonna get called terrible, but I'm not satisfied with Boba. And the final question from Bob, should all lightsaber heroes one-shot infantry? I think so, I missed that from Battlefront 1, but hey, the mechanics are a bit different in this game. That is something that I really miss, and especially when it's a heavy and you know, you're there for that bit longer trying to take them down, it's a bit frustrating, a bit time consuming. I think so, but people will disagree. Thank you very much for watching the bi-weekly Q&A though everyone. We'll be back to Sundays in two weeks time, or in 13 days time now, because this is one day late, so you don't have to wait as long this time around. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.